get the uh, eggs. Yeah. Let me have hash browns. Pico, just a little bit, no, not too watery. There you go. Um, and uh, some uh, sour cream and guacamole if you have. Great, thank you so much. You have a good day. All right, NASA, time to go explore the city. Yeah, stay with us. Hey, what's up, guys? Hi, how are you doing? Good. I need a cap to Fort Fincastle. What is it, guys? Wait, yeah. Fort Fincastle. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. How are you doing? Good, man. How are you doing? Right. Right. Fort Fincastle. Fort Fincastle. How much is the other uh, road? Oh, okay. Thanks. Right? Yes, yes. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. We took a taxi cab from the port to Fort Fincastle for 20 bucks. The cost of admission is $3 per person, but we arrived before it opened. Fort Fincastle was built in 1793 by Lord Dunmore. This was to provide protection to NASA from the pirates. He named it Fort Fincastle after his second title, Viscount Fincastle. Built on Bennett Hill, the fort overlooks the city of NASA, Paradise Island, and the eastern approaches to New Providence. It mounted two 24-pounders, two 32-pounders, and two 12-pounder cannons, and served as a lighthouse until September 1817, when it was replaced by the lighthouse on Paradise Island. Next to the fort, there's a water tower. This water tower was built in 1928 and it's 126 feet tall and has an internal staircase of 216 steps. But it is closed to the public right now. It was constructed to provide water pressure to the island. Surrounding the fort and the water tower, there are some stores for tourists to shop.
Walking down the hill from the fort is one of the most popular attractions in NASA, the Queen's Staircase. This grand staircase is around 102 feet tall with 65 steps that were carved out of solid limestone rock. These steps were made by slaves somewhere between 1793 and 1794. In the 19th century, these steps were later named in honor of Queen Victoria for her declaration ending slavery in 1837. The area is now overgrown with lush vegetation, giving it a jungle feel. The purpose of the staircase was built to give the British troops who were occupying the island at the time an alternative route to Fort Fincastle. The Queen's staircase provided a safer route and a shortcut to the fort. We just came down the Queen Step. It's a beautiful location. You all should give it a shot when you're down in Nassau.
Hey, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Welcome to John Watkins Distillery. Thank you. You guys here for a tour? Yeah. Awesome. You didn't book any prepaid tour of any kind, no. right? Okay, awesome. So you can come right on this side. We're going to get started shortly, okay? Okay. Hi there. How are you doing? Which way? He was eventually kicked off the island, and when he left, he traveled to South America. That's where Watlin later died. So he was shot to the liver in 1691, which is ironic, because we named a rum distillery after him. <laughs> now this house, it was built in 1789. Originally, the property, it was a plantation where they cultivated sisal. So we used sisal to make straw products, hats, mats, and rope. Now, once slavery was abolished, the owners of the property, they divvied up the land and then offered it to the freed people. So this portrait is a depiction of a normal day in the community that they were able to establish. It was known back then as Delancey Town, named after our first chief of justice, Stephen Delancey, but we know it today as Bain and Grants Town, which is directly behind the distillery. Part of it, yeah. So if you go, it's like a road just separating us now. But it's one of the oldest communities here in Nassau. Okay? Now we're going to head outside so you can see where we do our production. We're going through the hall and down the stairs, everybody. You can just follow me right this way. What is that coming out? Was it
Uh, a ringer. A ringer. Thank you. You have a great day. Rock and roll. So we highlight all the music of the rock era.
Africa, or the rock anthems, I should say, of the 80s here. So come on up there, join us, and let's have a nice little time as we dance and party to those wonderful songs.